Let's talk about the impact of changing the font, text boxes, and text placeholders in the Slide Master. If you've created even one Google Slide, you understand that you can insert text boxes on any particular slide and change the font, you can change the color, the size, you can do a lot to customize it. And that's a very simple process. You click on the text box, select a different font, and voila. Change the size, change the color, you can bold, italicize, and even underline and highlight. But what happens if you want to change the text for the entire theme? You can do that, and it's a pretty simple process too. Go up to Slide, Edit Master, and make sure you select the top master slide up here. It will ring all of the bottom thumbnails in the slide yellow color. This time, when you click on the text box in the master slide, change the font, and it will change the font all the way through your slide. You can also do this for your lower text box with the same process. You can change the size, the color, as well as bolding, italicizing, and underlining. It's a really great process. But what happens if you already have your slide deck built and now you want to change the font? It's the same process. Go into Slide, Edit Master, and be sure to select the top master slide. Notice the difference. This slide is ringed in gold and this slide is ringed in gold. But if I select the master slide, it selects all of these here as well as all of them out here. That will change the entire theme. It kind of just flows through each of these. Now the one thing to be aware of is that there are several ways that you can add in text on your slide. We all know how to add in text boxes, but when you click on the text box inside the Slide Master, notice you have three other options in here and you may be confused or wondering, what even are these? Let's select one side slide to see what happens. Notice I've just selected this one particular slide and it matches this one particular slide out here. So what I do here will impact this one particular slide and not carry through on all of them. Let's add in a text box. Maybe I want to provide my students with directions. I can edit however I want, font, size, color, and notice what happens when I come back out to my slide deck. It appears right here, but I cannot select it. I can't edit, I can't change it. I can only change it on the slide master. This is great for text that you want to make sure that your students don't delete. These text boxes are a little bit different. They are actually placeholders. These are ones that students can adjust. They can change them and they can individually delete them. In order to add those in, come back to slide, edit master, and then you will choose either the title placeholder, a subtitle placeholder, or a body text placeholder. These are all slightly different because of the formatting. I encourage you to play around with them and see how that impacts. I love adding in text boxes on the slide master to help prevent my students from deleting items. And I love adding in placeholders to give them a location to go ahead and maybe type in an answer or do part of the activity. I hope this is a tech you can do tip that helps.